Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ufet back again. Today we're playing some more Hitman 2 here on the channel. And in this video, we're going to be taking on the featured contract Ambulance Chaser on Sapienza. And so let's go through here. Fresh from law school, you're having a hard time establishing your business in Sapienza. Go out into the world and get some new clients. If you get enough clients to win a case against big business, you will be able to afford that boat you've always wanted. So this contract was created by a community member known as Knucklehead. And uh, so here's what we have to do. We have to eliminate five different targets, all wearing the Salvatore Bravumo um, optional disguise. Um, and we need to try and eliminate, it, eliminate them using an accident. Um, there's only one exit point, and we cannot be seen performing any illegal activities. So this is what I'm going in with, a lockpick, a coin, and we have the ICA electrocution phone in the safe house. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. All right, everyone, welcome back to Sapienza. Let's get to this mission. I actually was really close to completing it previously, and um, obviously we're going for like a five-star silent assassin run. I'm gonna try and get the you know all the objectives done. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was really close to finishing it, and one of the NPCs actually glitched outside, and they kept doing the same animation over and over, and they were just in public, so there's no way that I could like take them out the way that I needed to, um, because you know they just wouldn't respond to any any distractions they wouldn't respond to anything uh, so it was very annoying there's nothing not much I could do there um, but you know it is what it is so let's try this again all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this box okay now I'm gonna run over here open this really fast how many are inside not a problem hey would you mind a little privacy please oh yeah sorry I did not mean to climb in here that was very what annoying are you doing you, you've got to leave <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I, I don't think I'll be doing that. Okay, so let's take him out. I did not mean to climb in that box. That's very annoying. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dump him in there. We're good. Body hidden. Let's get back, and I'm going to go try and grab my uh, electrocution phone real quick. You don't really need it, but this makes things a little bit easier um, in the end. You know, it just makes it a little bit easier. One less person you actually have to take out. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and make sure no one's looking. Okay, that guy could probably see me. Could you please turn around, sir? Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's go grab our phone real quick. Like I said, you don't really need it. It just makes it up, makes it a little bit fun. Um, makes it a little bit, you know, mix it up a little bit um, with your eliminations. So let's grab this out of our device. Is there anything else we can use in this building? I don't think so. Um, in terms of accidental s kills and stuff like that. I don't believe so, so let's go. So from what I've seen, there's really only like one option that's really close by in terms of accidental kills. Um, I guess there's actually multiple. I guess you could carry some people upstairs and take them out that way with the uh, the falling chandelier. But that's not really the probably the most practical option. What is this guy doing, sir? Sir, do you realize that you are... you realize that you're in a van? Okay, I don't know. Either way. All right, guys, let's get in here. Got to take this uh, first guy out here. That guy walking right there. Okay, so where is my crowbar? Okay, so he's not looking. Going to sneak up behind him. And whack him in the head. All right, I'm going to take his disguise. We'll come back for our for our other disguise later. Just we want to make sure that we don't forget to change back. And uh, as you're dragging bodies down here, guys, just be careful. Sometimes people actually do enter this bottom room. You just want to be careful. Be cautious. Be paying attention. Okay, so he's good there. All right, let's run upstairs and see if this one guy's where we need him to be. Okay, so he's coming back. Or no, he's actually not in the right spot. So we're going to wait for this guy to come back, and we're going to knock him out as well. Put him in the box. Put him in the freezer. Come on now, buddy. Come on back. All right, so as soon as he turns around, I'm going to come out here and knock him out. All right, let's do this thing. Pull him downstairs. Pull him downstairs. Then I'll put him in the box. And then we'll only have one more person that we really need to take out. And then we can, I think we can switch back to our other disguise, but maybe not. Um, we'll see. Okay, guys, next thing we need to do is try and get this lady over here. So I'm going to throw down my coin. 
That's really nice that there's a lot more coins that we can grab. Okay, so this lady is being very stubborn. I am going to have to try and get her over here. Get over here. Wow. Oh. Okay, so she's going to come over here, please. Bingo. Okay, do not... What? Come on, come on, come on. Lady! Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna waste every coin on this stupid lady. She's so dumb. Oh my gosh, get over here. Ma'am, get over here, please. What is going on with this? this she's, she's so annoying. Okay, get over here, please. I'm gonna knock you out. This is what you deserve for stealing all my coins. Thank you. It's raining money. All right, now you are definitely going in the freezer. <laughs> Never been happier to put somebody in a freezer. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, guys, technically we're trespassing, but um, I don't think it matters anymore because all the employees are gone. We've knocked out all the employees in this building. So I think now we can wear our outfit. I'm going to get all my coins back. Thank you. And now we just need to lower all these other people, <laughs> which is very... Frustrating. I wish there was an easier way to, like, you know, distract all these people, but this is how it's going to be, so let's do it. Whoa. Okay, so that guy's going to come over here. Uh, I like, the sound of that. like I said, I don't think anyone, you know, I don't think that, uh, that we're trespassing, but none of these people really care because they don't work here. Okay, come on over here. Like I said, guys, this is kind of tedious, but uh, if you have a faster way to do it, then feel free. This is just the way that I usually have done it. So if there is a better way, then feel free to do that. If you have a faster, better way, feel free. Okay, so he's going to come over here. going to knock him out. Alright, let's put him in. So where I store our targets. So this is where I put our targets. I just put them here in the stairwell. Um, I found that if you put them in the stairwell, they really won't be found. And you can just leave them here. And whenever we have to get them later. So we're actually going to end up, because we have to use an accident, right? So I'm going to end up um, using the uh, explosive device there. I'm going to use that right there. Um, and so taking this guy out too, because he walks in the room, actually would not be a bad idea. Because this guy walks in and out. He can be kind of annoying, but you don't have to take him out. But it, it just makes it a little bit easier. So if we can take him out, let's take him out as well. Put him in the freezers. <laughs> the more you can take out of these guys, the better. And he will quit walking in and out of here, so you don't have to worry as much. There we go. Oh, oh, we can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That gun will be really nice. That gun will be useful. Uh, we can just throw that gun on the floor somewhere. Or we can... Well, we'll pick it up. If someone actually enters here that is like a bodyguard, security guard guy, we can throw that gun down, um, and then they'll, you know, want to take it somewhere. So that'll be useful. Okay, so I'm going to put this lady in... Or this guy in the freezer. Now let's keep moving. This lady is always the last to ever come check anything out. She's so lazy. <laughs> I don't know what her problem is. Okay, there we go. So just like I said, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, and repeat. It's not that big a deal. A little bit tedious. Like I said, if you have a better way to do this, feel free to use your better, your better idea. I'm sure you have some better ones than me. <laughs> this is just what I found to be useful, helpful, easy way to do this. Okay, so let's put him in the hallway. I found that no one really comes through this door. They do come from the upstairs door. I've left people here before and no one's really spotted them. So I think this is, is a good spot to leave people. Um, you just can't leave them upstairs, obviously. You just need to watch because eventually two people should enter in this door. So that's just one thing you want to watch out for. So let me grab my coins back. As long as you're paying attention, you should be fine. Okay, guys, so now let's grab her. So basically, I'm just going to get three out of the... Or four out of the five, and then the last person I'm going to get with the uh, electrocution phone. Wow. That's why I get that. It just makes the last one a little bit easier, less, uh, you know, leg work that you have to do. Okay, now I'm going to get my crowbar out. Like I said, guys, just rinse and repeat. It's just rinse and repeat. Awesome. Oh. 
Okay, thank you very much. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna go put you in the stairwell. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put one more person in the stairwell. That's gonna be all. And then we should be good. Like I said, there should be two people that come up here eventually. I'm not sure when they come up here. You just need to watch out for them. There are going to be two people that come in here, and uh, I'm not exactly sure who they're looking for, but you just want to be careful. As long as it's not one of the, like, enforcer people, then you should be fine. Okay, so now we just have to lower the, one of these people in here. It doesn't matter which one. There we go. Okay. Okay. I didn't think he was going to hear that. Did he hear that? Okay, guys. I think we should be good to take him out as long as he is walking over here. Okay, guys. Just want to make sure you drag him quickly. Like I said, watch that door. Watch that door. You want to make sure no one's coming to see you. Okay, guys, I'm going to put him with the rest. All right, so next thing we need to do. I'm really nervous that I'm going to time this incorrectly, and these people are going to spot me. So I don't want those people to walk in whenever I'm trying to do this, so just be careful here. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, electrocution phone on this lady. Ooh, guys, I have one idea. Here's something that you can do. Here's something you can do to try and prevent those people from coming in here, I think. Oh, there's a camera there. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Whatever I was about to say, don't do it. Uh, let me grab my coins real quick. Okay, so I'm going to throw the electrocution phone down so I don't have to lure her in here because it just makes it a little less frustrating. Okay, so she should grab that. Okay, so she grabbed the phone. I'm going to call the phone. And there she goes. She is done. Okay, guys. So now we just need to... Move all our bodies. We need to move all our people, guys. We need to move them. We need to put them beside the um, explosive. Got to be careful to not get spotted. Maybe you should wait until they drag the body out. I don't know, but I just I'm in a hurry. Okay, I think we should be good. Just trying to put all the people here. Ooh, gotta watch that guy. Watch that guy. Watch that guy. Don't let him spot you. If you have to readjust the bodies later, it's fine. Just gotta run. Watch out for anyone. Oh, gotta time this right. Or the clock is against you. Just so you know, the clock is against you. But you just have to keep moving. Okay, once you have the third body here, I would just add... I would just shoot this thing. So it starts, you know... Starts, uh, whatever it's called. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it with my, uh, suppressed pistol. Okay, so now it should be smoking. Alright, now we just need to put the last body here. And then shoot it, and we should be good to go. Ooh, come on. As long as no one comes in here. As long as no one comes in here, I think we're good. Just have to keep watching. Doesn't really matter at this point, does it? I think we're good. Just gotta make sure that all these bodies are gonna are gonna be, you know, in explosive range. This is the only guy I'm worried about. Okay, I'm gonna run away now. Alright, here we go. There we go, gotta go. Gotta go, guys. There we go. Now where is the exit? Where is the exit? Oh, we gotta run. Okay, we only have one exit unlocked, but I don't have it unlocked, so I'm hoping that it'll let me finish the mission. Alright everyone, so we just need to go over here and grab the speedboat key, so we can get the heck out of here. I think it should be located over here on the ground. There we go, now we're good. Now we're good. We should be able to get out of here now. 
Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go. I have a boat to catch. Or steal. Or, you know, whatever. Escape in. <laughs> Alright, so we should be good to go. Should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm excited to see how we did. I think it'll be a five-star silent assassin. Like I said, there may be quicker ways to do that. If you know of a quicker way, if you think of a quicker way, just go ahead and do that. But this is the way that I thought of doing it. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully we did pretty well. We'll see how we did. All right, everyone. So it looks like we got all the challenges we needed to do. Um... Looks like we, yeah, we got everything that we needed to. Let's see how we did. Five star silent assassin. So it was not the fastest mission time, guys. Okay, I don't claim it to be the fastest mission time, but we did do pretty well, I feel like. And uh, hopefully this uh, was enjoyable. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure and drop a like on the video. If you guys have some suggestions of how you could do it faster or, you know, improve upon it, then be sure and let me know that in the comment section down below. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.